Oh, the clock is resetting this morning, ticking down towards a new deadline in the UAW contract negotiations with the big three. UAW President Sean Thane spoke last night, laying out a new deadline of noon this Friday to reach a deal before expanding the strike. Seven Action News reporter Whitney Burney is live at the Michigan Assembly plant in Wayne, where workers remain on the picket line this morning. Right, Whitney? Hey, good morning, you two. This is my first time being out here at the Wayne Assembly plant this early in the morning. And while there's not as much traffic going by, we're certainly still hearing those horns as you can hear right now behind me. If you take a look, you can see how many of these striking workers are here at the plant. Several dozen of them have been blocking each entrance here at the Ford Assembly plant in Wayne this morning. We've seen several cars trying to get in. They have been able to get through, but again, those workers have been blocking each entrance here this morning. We have been able to talk to them over the last several days. They say they're ready for whatever comes next. After launching a historic strike against Detroit's big three, auto workers remain steadfast on picket lines. Me personally, I've been ready since 2007, so I'm definitely ready to do this. Monday night, our cameras were there as auto workers blocked each entrance at the Wayne Assembly Plant, one of three plants across three states targeted in the UAW stand-up strike. While Brian Keller, who works at Stellantis, says his plant is not on strike, he wanted to be here to support his fellow UAW members. I figured, well, after work, I'll come down here and support my union brothers and sisters because we're all fighting for the same cause. The strike only in its fifth day has already resulted in the layoffs of hundreds of workers like Haley Hines. We weren't getting paid at first until Sunday came along. We had a meeting. It was we were able to come out here and start helping out like we supposed to. We're now learning thousands more could soon join picket lines after UAW President Sean Fain announced a new deadline for automakers. Fain says if there are not better deals on the table by Friday at noon, the union will call on other locals to walk off the job. Fain also vowed to make sure members, whether laid off or called to strike, will be taken care of with strike pay. Our members are going to be taken care of no matter what happens. We'll take care of them. Uh, we, we have their back. Workers say they're ready for whatever comes next. It's about change. It's about equality. Now, as we said before, you can see a driver trying to get into the plant now. Those workers have been pretty stronghold uh, when it comes to keeping drivers from getting in there easily. You can see that Bronco trying to get into the assembly plant. As we said before, more people could be joining the strike in the coming days, depending on what comes out of the current negotiations. At this point, though, we don't know exactly which locals or which plants might be called on to strike next. For now, live in Wayne, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News. Yeah.